What's up, everybody? This is your boy, The Trill Collector, man. Coming to you guys another figure review. Hey, man, I just want to say thank you guys to the new subscribers. Thank you to everybody that um, checked out the Turles and the past content and the reviews on the channel. Um, thank you guys for that, man. It really helps the channel grow. Um, like I said, another again, another shout out. Thank you to all the new, new subscribers, man. You guys and everybody else in the community is the reason why the channel is growing the way it is. So shout out to y'all with that, man. So um, today, man, we'll be reviewing uh, two figures in one, which is none other than the prize be Goten and the last one prize, um, Broly from the um, history of the films, Kooji, that I think released about two or three weeks ago. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our boxes. So we have Goten with the prize B lettering right there. And then uh, of course we have the Toei Stick of Authenticity. We have Goten here. We have Goten with the prize A Gohan, which he is on the way. Not sure when he'll get here, but he is in transit. Um, and then some more box art there for the little guy. And then um, of course we got the Behemoth, the King Cluster, the OG, and the last one prize Broly. As we all know, toy stickers do not come on LPs. So, um, yeah, but we know everything here is authentic and real. So, here we go. Here with some more box art. More box art there. And there we go. Um, so, little disclaimer before we get into these figures, man. Um, every figure in this Kuji um, set is locked to Japan. So, none of these figures will be coming to the States, unfortunately. Um, not sure why, um, because these, these films and these movies, um, and these characters, especially from the films are, are definitely popular here in the West, but I'm not sure why, um, they will be region locked for some odd reason. So unfortunately guys, if you guys are interested in these pieces, you have to get them from Japan. Um, so, which is not really a difficult task. Um, like I said, you go on eBay and get them, you can join smash collecting on facebook and definitely get them that away or if you guys have your own personal connects uh, to where you can get them from overseas um definitely not hard to get um so that's just a little disclaimer little fy before we get started um so what we're gonna do we're gonna start with the small guy first we're gonna smart start with goten because we don't have any figures of goten um from kuji's that's that i'm aware of so this figure is based off of the return of broly uh, film alongside the prize a Gohan and the LP here um, this movie I think came out in 94 95 and um, it was one of the most I want to say it was comical at first because it was centered around Trunks and Goten um, but Kid Trunks and, and Goten but it was it was really one of the most kind of like um, I don't want to say devastating but uh, Broly definitely did those 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 two kids like dirty. I mean, he he beat them into the side of a mountain, drug their face in, in the side of mountains and everything, man. And these are like six or seven year old kids, and he's just manhandling these kids, man. But nonetheless, they held their own until Gohan came, and Goten Trunks. Uh, I want to say Goten and Gohan defeated uh, Broly. Uh, so that's a little side uh history of the figure and where they got this pose from um this pose like i said supposed to be paired with the gohan so as soon as he gets here we'll be doing a review over this as well um now looking at this little little guy man for him to be such a small figure he's highly highly detailed i'm just being honest um one thing that i really like about this piece is how they have the wind effect in his uh belt there i think that that's pretty awesome um the battle damage in his gi as you guys can see i think that that's really awesome as well and also on his pants you can tell that this little guy was going with you know he caught hell fighting broly man i'm just being honest with you um and and even the little scratches as you can see on his face from you know going going through that scrap with broly this little guy really held his own man so um for it to be such such a small figure it really encapsulates um, Goten essence as a character, and also, um, you know, it, it 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 captures his his likeness to a T. Um, so 
you know, definitely one of my favorite figures, man, out of this out of this lot. Because like I said, we don't have any go ten figures. Um definitely the smallest out of the lot, um, and definitely the most inexpensive out of the lot. Now, how inexpensive is it is, is it gonna stay? I'm not really sure. Um, but as of right now, he is the most inexpensive one out of all of the prize figures from the history of the films. Um, so definitely one you might wanna try to snag up man as soon as you can um so getting into the big man himself right um this figure man in my opinion is what back to the films uh last prize broly should have been um reason being is because they went for this more gritty look with the uh back to the films broly and the history of the films they definitely tried to go for that more realistic resin look um but this one was done a hundred times better than the um history of the films i mean to the back to the film so sorry than the back to the films broly it's one solid piece it's it's not you know disconnected at the torso like the like the uh back to the films broly the only part that comes that comes apart from the figure itself is this left hand here that is it simple as that and you put it back in and other than that, man, I mean, it's a flush piece. I mean, this is what it should have been. Um, I don't have any flaws with mine. Um, one thing that I really, really like about this piece is that the battle damage on Broly, I mean, it's definitely done right. I mean, it's, it's, it's done right. The scratches in his gauntlets, which I'll show you guys in a, momentarily, on his boots, I mean, I, uh, yeah. This is this is really done well. I'm just really being honest with you. Um, this figure was really met with a lot of skepticism from the collecting community um, because a lot of people did not like his face, which in a way, if you look at it, he does kind of have this weird, twisted kind of, you know, look on his face. But if you go to the film and also the way that it has to be posed, it ha this figure is designed to be posed like this. Well kind of have his back turned <laughs> but it's supposed to be posed like this with uh Go gohan and goten shooting the kamehameha wave at him so he's supposed to be like in an attack formation so i'll show you guys in a little, if i can turn around without having it fall over i'll show you see kind of how his face is turned this away and then it has to go ten there that's how it's supposed to be displayed and then, of course, you have Gohan there with him, and he's, like, attacking, like, on the defense. So, that's kind of why it's supposed to be, why it has such a wonky-looking face, because it's supposed to be displayed a certain way. For instance, another figure that was done like that was the Grandista Ultimate Gohan that kind of had, like, the, uh, a lot of people complain about the eye looking kind of kind of lazy, but you have to angle it a certain way in order to get the effect that the figure was designed to have, if that makes any sense. So, um, I don't have any complaints about this Broly, man. Um, one thing that I really, really like about this piece is the amount of detail that was done. Um, it wasn't overly done. It wasn't, um, you know, one of those figures that they tried to make it more than what it was. This is, this is what it's supposed to be. This is one of the... If you're going to do a realistic looking PVC ABS figure, this this is how it should look. Um, everything from Broly's body to his biceps, triceps, everything is done right. Um, the battle damage in his in his in his attire done right. Um, the uh, the the amount of gold in the necklace, gauntlets, boots done right. Um, one thing that I really like about this is that it, it's none of this is like metallic. I don't like the metallic skirts. I, I don't like that. Um, give me a flat color, a matte color with huddle, subtle sense of, of like gold like this one. Perfect. That's all it needs. It doesn't need to be shiny all the way around and all that type of stuff. Just give me hints of it and I'll be good. And I think this is done perfectly. Okay. Um, now, this is the second figure that was done by King, King Cluster and... Bandai and Band Presto to kind of have that realistic gritty look, right? So um, we all know that the Super Saiyan 
I mean, the legendary Super Saiyan Broly from the Super movie was the first, right? So um, we'll be doing a, a comparison with that one as well. But one thing that I really want to show you guys that I think is really cool is that his chest, you can see, has the battle damage on it. And, of course, if you guys have the Back to the Field Super Saiyan Broly, it has the exact same thing on it, right? So we all know that this is a transformation post um, uh, or pre-transformation before he goes Legendary Super Saiyan. So I think it's pretty dope how they put the battle damage on his on his torso in the Super Saiyan version and then backdoor and did it with his Legendary Super Saiyan version as well, which I think is really, really cool. As you guys can see, it goes from the front and the back. So I think that that's really dope. Um, and also, you can see here, his battle damage on his back as well. So I think that that's really, really cool, man, that they that they did that. So that's just a little comparison for this bad boy that I want to show you. But going back into the other dynamic, realistic, gritty-looking figure um, is the... Super Saiyan, legendary Super Saiyan Broly from the Back to the Films. This last prize right here. This one right here, man, what can I say? Um, the only um, explanation I can give is that they were, they were doing something for the first time, right? So this figure had a lot of issues um, upon its initial release. Um, everything from uh, standing issues to paint defects to um, the the torso and everything not being flushed down to the lower part of his body. Um, really, really awesome concept. I'm gonna be honest, but really it was poorly executed. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, now this one is everything that they wanted to do with this one. They fixed it with this, um, and I'm just being honest. Stands on its own. Um, one solid piece except for the hand and that's it. I mean, it was this is what it should have been um, But like you say when when you when you're doing something for, for, for the first time It's a trial and error and I think that they saw the error in their ways with this one and rectified it with this one here So if we can get more quality figures like this, but at different characters I think it'd be awesome. I would love to see a Majin Vegeta done in this type of art style I think that that would be awesome or a um, I know we have like SMSP Goku with the dynamic kind of rugged looks and all of that but I would definitely like to have like a, a Majin Vegeta or a um, um, Planet Namek Vegeta or something with that kind of rugged exterior look I think that would be really really dope um, so if you guys are interested you want to know about price of these figures right um, this price for this figure right here, man, I got it for a steal. I'm being honest, I got it for one thirteen on eBay. Um, the Gohan, uh, the Goten, I think he was like fifty bucks, I think. So really, really relatively inexpensive for him. Um, unfortunately, well, fortunately, should I say, um, this this Kuji prices are really dropping. Not saying that to be a bad thing. But the only one that I've seen really increase in price are the coolers, simply because people are buying up the metal cooler, the metal coolers, to kind of give that, um, they're trying to get as many metal coolers as they can to kind of set up that display of Goku and Vegeta fighting in the return of cooler with all the coolers on the, on the mountainside, right? So people are really buying that up, and that's what's really driving the price up on that particular figure. Um, but Broly, he, he's staying relatively um, you know, neutral when it comes to price. Um, Turles and Beerus, or Turles and Janemba were the most expensive out of the lots. I think once upon a time, Turles was going for like 150 and Janemba was going for like 150 as well, but now Turles is like 120 130 you know, so that's, that's a good thing for us collectors. So, uh, you know, if you guys want it, man, go to eBay, snag it. Um, if not, you know, hold on and to, to see if it's going to if it's on a flat line and just stay at one different, at one steady price, is what I would do if I were you guys. Um, but yeah, man, I highly recommend this this Broly man. Like I said, it does have its flaws. If you don't like the face, I can understand that. But Grant, it does have to be um, displayed a certain way, 
right? In order to, you know, to kind of get that effect. So this is where I'm going to end the video, man. Um, like I said, if you want this bad boy, man, you can get him on eBay. Uh, if you're on Facebook, head over to Smash Collecting and get in touch with some of our friends overseas to get your hands on these bad boys. Go 10 the same. If you guys are on Facebook, um, hit me up on Facebook. If you guys are on Instagram, hit me up at Trill underscore Collector 512 to where you can see this figure and all the others in my collection from day to date. So, as always, man, this is your boy, the Trill Collector, signing off, man. As always, keep it Trill and keep collecting. Until next time, bye.